Hey guys, I actually fixed that problem where I can't take off that cap. Thanks for the comment from one of the commenters on my previous video. I basically had to just take off that scope and move it back a little. Uh, but here's a quick video on, on it. You need a, tor a T15 uh, torque bit to take that uh, scope or loosen the scope uh, mount on this thing. I don't remember if it came with that, um, if it came with one, but this T15 basically fits and works. Uh, which is pretty cool. I actually, I'll put a link to possible tools on, on below, but it's actually pretty darn simple. You basically have to loosen all four of those things to remove, to be able to take off your cap. The four uh, mounting um, bolts, screws, that uh, clasp the scope is on the top. I noticed that even if you loosen it, you can't slide it back. You have to take them off because they have this uh, little grippy pad underneath of it, which I guess is probably helps with the, um, shock absorbance according in addition to the rail that shock absorbs that the ammo put in which is pretty awesome i do love this uh, scope and i love the uh, rifle it's actually very very cool and also that shock absorbent does help um, but just take it off move it back about a centimeter and it's clear for your cap to come off and that's really about it and then just tighten it back in uh, with very you don't need a lot of pressure to tighten those things back in but basically you tighten those each of those bolts back in and um, your typical star pattern for each of those corners and you're pretty much done uh, but yeah that's really it anyways guys all finished please like subscribe and all fun stuff I'm trying to make more airgun videos later bye, -bye.